Hello guys, what is up? Galaxy S3 Modder here, and I am back with a brand new ROM review. Now in this episode, we will be focusing on the MIUI ROM for Galaxy S3, and I believe it's for all the Galaxy S3s that are US, I'm not sure. Don't go by this, go by what's in the description, I will have it all sorted out in the description. But for now, I'm just going to show you an overview of this ROM, and I'm going to tell you about all the cool features and the cool UI, and I think this is one of the most innovative changes in UI for um, Android, honestly. I think that the way that it comes across, like how everything is changed, I really appreciate that. Alright, so now we're going to get straight into the ROM by looking at the lock screen. Which is right here. Let me focus in right here. You can tell that this beautiful lock screen that it is obviously not anything that you've ever seen unless you've obviously ran this ROM before, but most likely if you've ran this ROM there's no point in you watching this video. So we're going to hit this little button here and as you can see there's a little arrow pointing down to the little lock. All right? You can switch, you can go straight to your camera text messages, your phone, or you can just unlock it. So I'm just going to unlock it. And as you can see here, let me focus in because the colors aren't really doing justice to this ROM. I do it like that. that. That's good. Okay. So as you can see here, there's no button for the app drawer. There's no app drawer in this ROM. It's just a bunch of pages with all your ROM, or all your apps on there. I just created like a ton of pages so don't mind that but as you can see it's all insanely themed and if you go to the left or you swipe to the left once you have a keyword search and you can search things like apple pie you can just go and it'll take you straight to the browser that comes with it and you can see all the little apple pie photos okay um oh it's down here Okay. I don't know what browser this is, but I kind of like it. kind of like this browser. I prefer Chrome, honestly, but Apple Pie Moonshine, that's that's interesting. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going to first show you, I'm going to go through pretty much all the applications here to show you that everything is different. First, you can see that this is all themed. Every app in theme is themed with the orange and the white. As you can tell by here, and we're going to go into the contacts. Well, you just basically saw the contacts. So we're going to go into text messages right here, and you can see that once again it is orange and white. Sorry, it's, it keeps on focusing out. Okay, there we go. All right, now what we're going to do is scroll down in the notification bar. As you can see, you have two things here for notifications and one for toggles. Now, usually a notification would look something like it would just be white with the black lettering. I can't really show you that. Hold up, let me see right here. If I can bring my computer closer and I can plug in the cable, which is right in my hand, I can maybe show you if it'll have the Android debugging logo. So let's plug it in. Let's make sure my computer's on. There we go. See? That's what it'll look like. And you have a text message, it'll just be like that, except it'll have the little uh, logo for the text message obviously but back in toggles though you have a nice brightness slider right here you've got tons of different toggles you have a settings up in the corner you have more so which means you can customize the position you can choose what toggles you want there you can look at how flawless this switch is though I love this this is the first time that I've ever ran one of these ROMs and I don't regret it I really don't All right. So we're going to go back to the toggles, and as you can see the power's there, you can click power and your phone will shut down. I'm not, obviously I'm not going to shut it down during the video, because that would be, that would be kind of bad. I'd have nothing to review. Alright, so now what we're going to do, is we're going to go into the settings. As you can see, once again, everything is themed. Let me close this little port at the bottom of my phone. Okay, there we go. And then we have common settings and full settings. Common settings is good if you're just trying to mess with some Wi-Fi settings or the Bluetooth or that kind of stuff, you know? Like the more commonly used settings, then you go into the 
than going into the other stuff like uh, status bar settings and that kind of thing, you know? So we're just going to look here, and as you can tell, wallpaper, we're going to dive into the wallpaper, and there's three different kinds right here. You have desktop wallpaper, and you can look at the local and the online. Obviously, it'll take up data, and as you can see, my Wi-Fi is not very strong at all, so it might take a little bit to load these. Some to, oh, things are loading. So there's, you can see that there's different, um, some nice different, what the heck is that? I don't even know, I don't know what that is. I'm just going to go back to local. Okay. <laughs> but as you can see here, you have some elegant wallpapers. Obviously, they look pretty HD. I like this one. That one looks nice. Wow, that's cool. That's pretty good. That is nice. I like these wallpapers. Not a big fan of them. To be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of the little icons that were changed, but I do like the overall theme of this ROM, as in the orange and and white. I think it looks very classy look. I think it's just a great ROM. Alright, so we can go into here. We have more settings. You do have tethering. NFC and Android be my guess do, don't work. I guess that's why that's blank. Um, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. Alright, so now we're going to go into the uh, status bar settings, and you can change it if you want it to be compact, changing the style. You can have it just like this, or you can have it with the page, like that. I think that's very nice. And you can change the position, collapse when clicked. I want to see what that does. Alright, we're just going to hit vibrate. Oh, okay, that's what that does. And you can show screenshot info, which I prefer, network speed, yeah. No, I don't know if I prefer that or not. Okay. Expendable on lock screen. That's pretty cool. That's pretty much it for the status bar. And now we're going to go down to the thing everybody cares about here. About phone. Now, as you can see, it has a very customized MIUI layout here with the orange and the white once again. As you can see, you are running under SGHT999, which is my T-Mobile Galaxy S3. As you can tell from the corner there. You are on 4.1.2, and the reason is you cannot get 4.2.2 on a U.S. Galaxy S3 at this moment. I'm making this on the 8th, I think. Oh, wow, it's the 10th. I'm lost. Okay. Anyway, it's the 10th of August in 2013, and as of now, the only ROM for the official Samsung uh, 2. or 4.2.2 is on the i9-300 or i9-305. Because that was leaked for only those two. And I don't know when it's going to be coming for the U.S., but we obviously cannot make ROMs, official Samsung ROMs, without the software to build off of. Alright? This is also built off of CyanogenMod. Or slightly built off of CyanogenMod, because you can see here... Let me focus on this. It does say CyanogenMod kernel. There we go. CyanogenMod. Engine mod right there. And you are on the regular baseband if you have this phone, you should know. Alright. And that's pretty much it for this ROM. To be honest with you, I mean well let me go and let me show you some of the apps that it comes with. It comes with a bunch of different theme things. Like look at this. Even the calculator is themed. They made their own everything here. And the camera, I forgot to show you the camera. Alright, so this. We'll go sideways here. Okay. And we'll move this over to the left. This is like a combination of all the cameras. You can slide in here to zoom in. What happened there? Oh, flash just went on. Alright, you can zoom. You can go to Photosphere, which is great. And it is working. Oh, this is Panorama, not Photosphere. We Okay. I'm just going to get out of that. And then we have Security Center with all your security things that you need. File Explorer, Updater, which you can tell here that I am on the latest MIUI, which is MIUI-3.1.11. And that's the latest build. And that's... And you, oh yeah, you have a music app, which is pretty cool. I do like this music app. This is pretty cool music. Oh jeez, what is it doing? Don't play that. I have the volume up. What I don't like is the uh, volume for this is because 
it doesn't have the best of uh, you know how you have an expandable desktop like if you hit the volume rocker like this and it would give you options to toggle all your sound settings it doesn't in this ROM so it's okay but whatever what is this what did I just do there I held the home button what does that do Oh, that clears all your recent apps that is amazing that is cool hold up let me show you guys this again then because I didn't even catch that let me just go back to settings and then go here that's cool. That just wipes it all. That's awesome. Okay. I enjoy that. I think that was cool. Uh, there is one last thing that I want to go through with you. What was that? Oh, yeah. If you hold the home screen down, you can do searches. You can. This is where you install all your widgets. See at the bottom here. So all I have to do, let's go back here. So hold down on the home screen, and you can swipe through all your different things. Like if you wanted, let's say, power control. And we want to put it on this page. You have power control now on that one, which is nice. So there you are, guys. That's pretty much it for the MIUI ROM. And once again, I am Galaxy S3 Modern, and I, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I will be posting this video on my website, which is galaxyS3Modern.webs.com, as you can see right there. I will be posting more videos in the future on my website. I do have a section called Android News. I am just starting that, so as soon as more Galaxy S3 info comes into me, I will immediately type up an article and post it on there so you guys can see. It'll be dated. It's pretty cool. Go check out my website once again, galaxyS3model.webs.com. It's got forums for you guys to go to if you want to do that. I think it's pretty nice. I enjoy it. Now, and that's, that's pretty much it now. Alright, thanks guys. Okay, guys, bye.